Hello and welcome to Infinity. We can select areas of an image based on various methods and what we're going to do here is base a selection on the luminosity or lightness of a picture and being have quite close control over that using the gradient map. So what we do is we start off, go to the gradient map, and it starts off quite brightly. The first one I can take this off, then the left hand one I'm going to make go black, and the right hand one I'm going to make go black. Then I'm going to select the left hand one there and put in, just do copy, one, two, three, four. So there's four of them. We don't know, it doesn't matter where things are at the moment. We're going to take the inner two there and make those white, that one white, and this one white. So what we're doing effectively is we've got between those two white ones we've got full selection and then going out to the side from those we've got a fade off so a feathering so that you don't have any harsh edges but you can then use this to select any area you've got to slide all of them across but you can control the feathering on both sides if you go over the top of ones it starts to get funny but you want the black ones on the outside the white ones on the inside and you can make that as wide or narrow as you like using this so for example i can turn this on and off to look for things and going well how about the light area well let's need to shift this whole thing up to the top end so we'll move that up about there let's have a look at where things are and then start going yeah that looks pretty good there when you get areas you don't want because you're going to end up creating a mask you can paint those out along the way and here we go that'll do what we first say selecting those light, light areas because there we go these are a bit bright aren't they and maybe a bit going underneath here as well so if there's a darker area here underneath if we turn the feather out there we'll select gradually a bit inside there as well how far do you need to go down so you need to go there's quite a long way there maybe we'll take it down like that but see we can control the feathering as well in other words you you just move to select whatever you like if you want to you can turn down the opacity and it'll start to show you the picture underneath just go so you can see both and then set where you want this to be and put that back up so end up with the opacity up high so that you've got only black and white what i'm going to do now is turn that off so we can see this we have now only got black and white so we could do a rasterized mask here but if we did that it would get rid of the background so we'd have to have done a duplicate of the background layer to do that but we don't need to and the reason for this is if we go to this one here and here we go to the channels panel and the channels separate out between the red green and blue channels but because this is black and white red green and blue is all the way the same each one is the same as the other so i can take any one of those i can right click it and then say load to pixel selection and it's going to create then a selection based simply on how white the image is here so i can turn off the gradient map i've still got the selection also if there are areas here that i don't want to select i don't want to change i can go to the selection brush make sure that subtract is clicked on there probably don't need snap to edges and just paint away the areas with things i don't want so if i'm gonna keep these bits down here then like i've got then i'm just gonna have then selected the area i want to create now when i add a tool like curves it will automatically take that selection and put a mask onto those curves as we go so i just go to curves here 
and that's got the mask built in now. It's put in there straight away without us having to do anything. And we can then work on the curves, but let's do a control D to get rid of these marching ants so it, you can see a bit of what we're doing. Let's move this out the way a bit. And now when I work on this, now it's only changing those that area that I've selected, you know, including the feathering. So those areas there, you can go sometimes, there's a point at which things start to look unnatural, but you can go to point going, okay, that's about as much as that's going to work with this picture here. We can turn it on and off. There we go, see what we've done. Maybe that's a little bit far there. Let's keep it. There we go, it's better. So we've evened out those lighter areas there, the two light things, and we've kept the bits under here that were okay. So there we go. Very, very simple. A way of selecting using a gradient map, selecting the areas we want, the tonal range we want. This is very similar to luminosity masking, but a fixed range. Okay, and hope that was helpful, and thank you very much for watching.